The House Republicans have really had a tough time the last few weeks. Unfortunately, McCarthy lost out in a contest of wills with Matt Gates over matters of high principle. And even conservative spiritual guides have stepped in to assist as Republicans sought a man who could secure the speakership on guiding party principles. Just hours ago, Jim Jordan was nominated to be the next Speaker of the House. Now, this spells major trouble for the Democrats. So let me just sing my little song real quick. I told you so. Oh, I told you so. You know why? Because Professor Toto many times can see the news behind the news. And this was Yahweh's plan from the beginning. Kevin McCarthy got in the way, but Donald Trump removed Kevin McCarthy. Today, Jim Jordan is preparing to step in as leader and speaker of the House of Representatives. He is the proxy of Donald Trump. Literally, Donald Trump is the speaker of the House. We've had a great victory today, a great victory. Jim Jordan will be the next speaker of the House, just as Professor Toto told you so. Oh, I told you so. Although the effort unfortunately failed, I think now the depth of House Republican team spirit has emerged, and I expect they will hit their stride as so many capable members stand up to remedy the situation. Amongst their ranks is Byron Donalds, who I never heard of until I saw this post flow by on Mastodon. And I must admit, his announcement's tone invoked for me the bubbly optimism Reagan was known for, updated for the present era. Hopefully soon, the speakership will be settled, and conservatives can turn to the very serious matters the House must consider. It shows really the failure of cultural diversity. We were all told diversity is our strength. Diversity of religion is our strength. That isn't true. Michelle is right, though. We shouldn't be concerned with the division religious diversity inflicts on a nation. We should spend a little time reminding ourselves of the core values that's made America what it is today. <laughs> and remind ourselves what attitudes in conflict with these core beliefs can do to a nation. I had a man literally leave my church this week because I mentioned Donald Trump in the pulpit, mixing religion and politics. Let me tell you something. I hope I lose everybody if that's what they leave for. They're scared to death to mix politics with religion. You cannot separate politics from religion. They are one and the same. I want to play something that Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene said about the Catholic Church. And, you know, at the risk, at the risk of playing this, but this is important to watch because this is what has a lot of Catholics and those affiliated with the Catholic Church upset. Here's what she said. What it is is that Satan's controlling the church. The, the church is not doing its job. What they're doing by saying, oh, we have to love these people and take care of these migrants and love one another. This is loving one another. Yes, we are supposed to love one another, but their definition of what love one another means uh, means destroying our laws. For those uh, in the left-wing media know, we who are affiliated with pastors for Trump we do not deify or worship Donald Trump. We worship the Lord, but we recognize Donald Trump as his apostle. What was the first murder in the Bible? Socialism. The first murder in the Bible was socialism. How often do you have a pastor tell you that? Two sacrifices, 
God likes one of them, doesn't love one of them. Resentment, murder. The only time religious freedom is invoked is in the name of bigotry and discrimination. I'm tired of it. How would you describe kind of the state of evangelical Christianity um, for people who are not as familiar with it as, as you are? We are the people Jesus warned us about. Uh, we have uh, we have spent many years uh, warning about secularization as though it's something on the outside. And what we didn't see is the way that we have become secularized. And so the uh, aims and objectives and even our emotional temperature is being driven by something other than uh, the gospel of Jesus Christ. I had a man literally leave my church this week because I mentioned Donald Trump in the pulpit, mixing religion and politics. And that's one of the reasons why we've lost our, our credibility to the outside world. With all respects to Russell Moore, I would point out that um, the issue about credibility, I don't think is the same for religious folks uh, emanating from the Democratic Party, or at least aligned with it. A little food for thought. It shows really the failure of cultural diversity. We were all told diversity is our strength. Diversity of religion is our strength. That isn't true. That isn't what the founders said. The founders believe very strongly in religious tolerance, but on the foundation of a Judeo-Christian heritage.